I think Jim George exemplifies the characteristics that the Wallace H. Coulter Award is intended to recognize, and that is excellence in each of the academic missions of clinical service, research and scholarship, and teaching and mentoring. He's made such a, a long and consistent contribution to clinical care of patients with several disorders that we really care about as hematologists. Specifically, immune thrombocytopenia, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. We had the prescience to establish a registry for patients with TTP in Oklahoma uh, back even before we had a clue about the molecular pathophysiology of this disease. And finally, a molecular a defect that caused TTP was discovered in the middle 1990s. He was prepared to conduct clinical studies in this disorder that really have been uh, extremely helpful. With this um, study, I think we were able to show that the severe Adam T13 deficiency is an important risk factor of relapse of patients to plan studies and to develop new treatments and new treatment strategies, uh, this kind of information is very important. I believe if it were not for Dr. George and his treatment, that I probably wouldn't be here today. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Uh, they had actually prepped us and gave us 48 hours for her to live. And at that time, Dr. George wasn't involved. When he walks into the hospital, you know, it's like Mick Jagger just walked into a concert, you know. He's, he's a lot of people's heroes, especially mine. Dr. George literally saved my life, so I love him a lot. He's so passionate about what he does, and you can just tell he loves it. Not only does he love the things he does clinically, but you can tell he loves to mentor people. He doesn't take on that, I'm the teacher, you know, you're the mentee, I always know more than you. He says, why don't you explain what that is? And you teach me something and I'll teach you something and then it's this relationship. And I think that's what good mentoring and good collaboration in general is all about. He's really um, pushed me beyond probably what I could have done by myself. He's always there to encourage you. He's always there to do whatever he can to push you to that next level. I think Jim's innovation is apparent from what he's done both in the field of hematology and for the American Society of Hematology. He's been incredibly creative in developing new plans for the society. His leadership has been instrumental in moving the society forward. Beginning when he served on committees to when he became a president, and even after he completed his presidency, he continues on in so many innovative ways. When the American Society of Hematology decided to produce a clinical guideline for immune thrombocytopenia, this is a disease that many hematologists have very strong opinions about, and not always based upon the greatest of data, but Jim uh, took on the responsibility of leading a group to achieve consensus about how to diagnose and treat this disorder, and I thought he was very brave to do that. I think he's encouraging people, um, even if he doesn't, um, agree with them, but somehow this opens the possibility for a good discussion. So I became first involved with the Coulter Foundation when they had offered to provide money for a new uh, initiative we described as a clinical research training institute, and I was asked to organize this. This has turned into a, just a remarkable achievement. He brought together a number of faculty members who uh, could really bring the best of clinical research to our trainees. We had our first program in 2003, and that was due to the generosity of the Coulter Foundation. I never have had the opportunity to meet Wallace Coulter, but he's had an enormous impact on my career. The Coulter counter became a common term that we used many, many times every single day. And what this meant was that whenever a blood count was drawn, blood count for hemoglobin, blood count for red cells, a platelet count automatically came back with it. This was like drawing a veil back on 
disorders that we'd never recognized before. So he revolutionized hematology. He also revolutionized my career.